nothing is ever going to be direct because money is fungible, right? You give me a hundred bucks to buy a coat and say it's only for a coat. That means the hundred bucks in my bank account that was originally for that coat, I can spend on knives and a rope. That's how it works. Yeah. Um, peaceful coexistence is really easy to undermine with a mind virus. This isn't about territory. It's about an ideology. And it's not about just Israel. It's about us taking our eye out the ball. We're going to talk about this topic for an hour and viewers may wonder why because we have our own challenges here but it's the same challenge the difference in israel it was a surprise explosion of atrocity but ours has been a slow boil coming for years mm. it's not hamas versus israel but we're on a road to damascus real soon have you seen the celebrations outside it's yeah. absolutely amazing how professional those signs are. And to do that in just 24 hours, it's almost as though this was planned and that every celebration around the world knew that this was coming. So you have an explosion of violence and you have a slow boil here, but the origin of heat is the same. Identity politics, which fuels separatist conflicts, which then the brainwashed embrace the oppressor versus oppressed ideology. The leaders are safe, right? Because they're not coming after them, but you're not safe. The filter allows one group of people to attack another, and God forbid you defend yourself, because then what they do is they yell, immediate ceasefire. It's a free punch. On MSNBC, people like Ali Velshi and others said the Israel occupation could be blamed for these attacks. So what does that remind you of? When MSNBC blamed the riots and violence post-Floyd on white nationalist mobs. It's the same mindset. People here are defending the atrocities, even cheering it, using the phrases both sides, and pleading for us to use nuance when we're talking about abductions of girls and rapes and mutilations. This is not just specific to Israel. This is a global mind virus. And we, our eyes are off the ball when it comes to this. So this oppression filter leads to this free punch phase. That's when the oppressed can attack you without consequence, and it's immediately after the attack, we are told by the progressive, progressive faction, we mustn't fight back. They can hit you, you can hit them. Where do you see that in America? Riots were a free punch. Eliminating bail was a free punch. Smash and grab is a free punch. Killers murdering an activist, and then the friends of the activist defending the murderer, free punch. Blame the system, tearing down statues, free punch. Burning courthouses, free punch. Destroying businesses, that's a free punch. You see. This thing is endemic everywhere. So the excuses for Hamas follow the same excuses we have for criminality here. It's the fault of those targeted. And you can take a cowardly punch against anybody because you can. There's a 40% increase in violence against women in New York City alone. But AOC prefers to focus on an anti-racist oyster reef. In Israel, the punch is relentless. They're used to it. It's still awful. This weekend was an all-at-once punch. But for us, it's a slow boil. And it's coming. We have to be aware of that. Because we're seeing this same mentality on the streets right now. So don't think it's far away. It's here. It's on our streets. All right, more.